Yeah, we want to uh, thank uh, spaceweather.com uh, news information and all, everybody that sends photographs into them. I'm not going to display the ones that have copyrights printed on their photos, but we have legal right to share. And now, basically, folks, I am believing that they actually have caught these uh, light images of the object below the moon here. They're not just joking around with uh, flashlights in their deals or anything. Like, great shots. Uh, there of this here object here that we're going to show you when we go to the photographs. They are a tetrahedron uh, triangulation or maybe more than that uh, because you will see the other objects here in a second. I'll go to the photos. All of our Scandinavian friends and all of our friends around the world that sent these photos into spaceweather.com. At Sweden, we thank you in the names below the other photographs that will be included. And like I say, just the names. I'm not going to take time to pay attention and cut out. So I'm just showing the photos that don't have copyright on their pictures. So here we go, folks, going through the photos, and bam, the object's down there. I'll have some zoom-ins in a second, and you can keep on seeing that hey, these are people all over the world that are giving these shots, folks, and it's coming off the same stuff. Okay, and in a second, you're going to see that the idea that there, that more than likely what they are catching is this object down here, that the guy out, I believe this guy's out in the western United States, I believe, and he used a mirror to project and show you that there's Jupiter I mean, uh, Venus back there, I believe he's got on, uh, yeah, Venus back there. Whether he used a mirror or whether he used something to zoom in on it, I'm not sure. He's also showing something on his top of his house, whether he has a telescope of his own privately in his house. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, either that or he's close to a, uh, I don't know, something came in there that looks like microwave dish. I mean, a microwave reflector. I'm not sure. But anyway, I think we can kind of trust him with the idea that Jupiter's high right. Now, over there, it would still be high, okay? So, any of these overseas shots, that lower object is still the lower object, the more than likely still lower object that we see over here. And also, you are going to be amazed. These are the shots. That should be Jupiter back there, the biggest thing you can possibly see, all right? And go to, uh, go to Space Weather and find these pictures and see. I don't have time to show. I had to make sure... I that I'm just legally sharing. Santa Claus knows, though, and that's why I don't want to do zoom in on Santa Claus too much, but that dude took some great shots, and the idea that more than likely that's still are nominally, uh, nominally lower on the moon there. It's not a reflection of the moon. It's actually something that's there, and see, it moves around the moon because the idea that it's that there. Okay, and that's not a reflection. Of, now, this could possibly the West Coast be a reflection of the moon, but why on all these shots does it end up with the tetra, uh, small moons or something around it? Or a, you know, like triangulation of moons like all planets and then a lot have. I think Saturn's got a hell of a lot of moons. So Jupiter caused that. Because it got, gave the reflection back to the, got close to the moon. Okay, that's a street light over there, so don't worry about that. As far as I know, that's a street light. But see, here you go. Again, there is that action around near it, lower, and it ends up being lower like we've seen west coast. Okay? That there. Okay? So you make up your mind, folks. Ah, and it sure looks like it moves around because we've seen it higher on the other deal. And there's a proof that you're having to do downloads now recently. I don't know if they're quarantining a sophomore. Uh, all kinds of problems with players and so forth and so on. Dutch had an anomaly or something he had in the video. I was trying to find out what was there. Now, what we've got, uh, and keep uh, weather sharing on Dutch's channel. This is what's amazing because check this comment the way it looks out. And then that's the, the same thing that matches up with... Uh, I'll go back and I'll queue up his pictures, okay? But this was recent, and we've had a couple objects that was been keep on coming around at like 0 .078 IU and 0 .480 IU. We've got two objects that keep coming around, okay? Plus, what the heck is all this and this? This is asteroid belt action or something from what I can tell. Now, yeah, that could be a cloud, but that these are not parking lights. We know... NNM, New Mexico sky, folks. Okay? And then on this other shot, because this one's from New Mexico State University, and then this one's from New Mexico skies, okay? And then there you go. And this matches 
I do believe we'll be able to go back here. Let me queue up save time. I, the other guy that's taking a lot of looks at Nehemiah and taking pictures and stuff. I don't try to play with pictures so that you know that I'm not fake baking you. I'm wondering about this being fake bake, but a guy said he found this on satellite. Okay? So I'm interested in getting the satellite link for that because I have showed you down in Nehemiah and he's seen the same thing pretty much. He's found a little bit more by zooming in and stuff, but I don't play with the pictures. I don't color them and overlay now he does have techniques that probably are basically scientific and very good but we naturally can see it right there in front of i mean you can't beat that right there it's red it's brown whatever okay reflection getting mirrored off what planet to what planet more than likely jupiter's a gigantic mirror as we see what it does with uh the moon we're going to keep having it uh january 12th or something like that you can be able to check out exactly what's happened down at, uh, I mean, all over the world with the moon, with I believe it's either Venus or Jupiter. I'm, uh, but the idea that what is that massive? This should be Jupiter that's out there behind the sun. And let me bring up a chart. But the idea that we can see the anomaly again, it's more than one piece. There's separation in the middle of it, as you see the reflection on the back of the vehicle. And once again, should be able to, uh, that is the anomaly showing up there that we've seen down at the other uh, British one and I got also got some good pictures from the British site too. There's the red Conchina, brown Conchina, whatever you want to call it. That's with all these names, screw it, you know, it's just the stuff what it is, it's up there in the sky, okay, so you come, it, it gets hidden by the uh, station, if you watch my last video. Okay, there, here is what I just got with the idea this matches up at on the 7th at 102 and here that object never leaves it seems like down there it's not a satellite of theirs or anything like that okay and then the the idea that this appears here and then we get the reflection on at the different time at the other camera backwards and basically what this is is that's the other end of the runway and that's the other end of the runway okay and that's the tower you're always seeing the shots out of and everything like that so, and that's not a light that's turned on in the booth, folks, up there in the in the tower. Okay, it's an air, it's a their air traffic tower for the strip, pretty much. Okay, so that's not the sun, folks. Okay, that's UTC time, and that's not the sun, and it's small, and it matches with my last video of showing where the idea that that object down there, or you know, my last half dozen. Look at my last half dozen. Now, see that tetrahedrons or whatever around that object that's below the moon. This is the moon that they're looking at, okay? And they got these shots of the moon, and they put off the same reflections that they're getting down at sound. Either that or these guys played a joke on everybody, okay? But it sure looks like the same uh, reflections of all objects up there that we get, and boom, it's there. So it should be real. It should be it. And see, it moves around, and then you can see from this shot and reflection that that's something big and up back up behind there. So the idea that you got to go look to see where these shots were at and see what the, what was there at that time is that Jupiter should be Jupiter way back there. Either that or we got some other big ass something out there. Okay, so a lot of good pictures. Santa's got it going on no matter where, and we've got that below the sun. I mean below the moon. Below the moon. Sorry about that, folks. This is below the moon, and it was caught when the idea that let's go to the sky chart see what we got going on and what that is okay because it's there I even have a relative that got a picture of it around here not too long ago on a cell phone okay and it's like hey man it's there okay so infections beware uh, players be careful what you download and this was on New Mexico and here's the player of this here and that objects over there and then that was the close object that comes across Crossed in New Mexico sky on the clear version. The other one has the anomaly of the cloud, and that's what's. Now let me go. Let me. I think I will be able to. That was the object there that got caught, right? Well, what the heck is this? And this matches up to what that other guy's got the picture of the satellite shot. And I want to get out of this and get you this because basically this was this was the movie there that you just seen. Okay, this is the exact same time in New Mexico sky. Now is that could be just a cloud in the different camera area, but. These are not parking lot lights, folks. Either that or they played a joke us and turned all this stuff on to try to make fools out of people. But this stuff's there. Now, this comet is the same damn comet. 
Same, same asteroid or comet that's coming by, okay? Same damn object, okay? This stuff's all over here, and then it's this. How fast does this stuff move? And then this was down here in this shot, and you can see the clocks, okay? No fake bake. I'm not even going to try to read them for you. You read the clocks, okay? And real dramatic on these shots, too, and I'll come back to this one in a second and blow it up. But check this out on... And I zoomed this one up already because the idea I was looking at the back, and I was like, well, what the heck? We figured that that had to be Venus that was up there, and then this is a close, this is behind, right? Well, check that chunk of what the chunk of chunk is going on. What the heck is that? And it's dramatic as hell, folks, and you can see it. And our folks at the Navy, they don't have no problem with showing us the truth. Check that out. Is that bouncing off the sun? Is that a super giant that the sun, it bounced into the sun? Okay, this is fresh shot. Okay, this is being videotaped on the 7th, but the idea that UTC time, Zulu time, that the Magic Mountain and everything goes by. So there you go, folks. There you go. That's pretty wild stuff, folks. Now let's zoom in on the other shot. See, save it on time. Check it out, folks. And there you go. There's your time. And let's zoom in on that. That is crazy. Check this stuff up up here. And then everything around is pretty busy too. And remember, from the back shot, we seen that right behind the sun. And then we had that falling action. So that's some pretty wild stuff. I hope the mic worked good there. I'm taking the mic away because I'm trying to get ready to zoom in. Here we go. So wild triangulation action, folks. Triangulation. Okay, super giant action or what? Triangulation, 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 triangulation. Okay, triangulation and what the... And I don't believe in UFOs, folks. I don't care if anybody, Kerasoft or anybody. You know, let's, let's zoom, zoom in a little bit more. I don't care if anybody trying to pull some cracker-ass crap of putting something on. But this is zoomed in now at 700. And let's get into 1,000. Let's just get it over with. And this is... A thousand, and you seen that other shot just a second ago, and I showed you the time on that, and there's the time on this one on on the eighth, 54 Zulu. Okay, that's basically 54 minutes, folks, into Zulu hour, and check that out. Is that wild or what? Look at that, and the size, folks, the sun. Okay, and then the size that. So that's super giant action, folks. We are starting to get super act, super giants, main sequence cannot be looked away from the scientists and everything they know about it. There is stuff going on by the sun and by the moon earlier. Hang on a second. Okay, so no matter what, folks, that zoom was zoomed into a 1,000, and there you go. That's what we zoomed in on. So there is just hella interesting stuff, and as the other shots showed you, let's go to that real fast. So there you go. I can't say that that's the same triangulation flopping around up there, but that is wild there that we zoomed into earlier, folks. you got to back up the tape and check, check, check all that action there out. That is wild stuff right there, folks. And the Navy's letting us see that nice and loud and bald right there. That is awesome stuff, folks. Thanks to all the military, because it always takes all of it to make everything work. So, and who knows, you know, I wouldn't want to get... Anybody pissed off next thing you know, hey, that was an Army satellite took that shot, damn it, you know, or this or that. So goes out to all, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, everything, Air Force, Black Ops, everything. Okay, so let's check this out, zoom in a little bit more. So you were seeing it earlier, and that is wild, folks, because you have to remember the size of the sun, and that big-ass stuff's up there. And just like I had on the other I shot a little bit earlier, so this is awesome. So go to spaceweather.com folks and zoom in on these guys' pictures and figure out this stuff that's moving around the moon because this was the moon and then the idea like I say that big ass object behind there let me go if, and see if I can get because uh, the idea that's Jupiter way the hell up there he's saying so then what the hell is that there because that's not a reflection of the making the moon getting reflected out into space hell no that doesn't happen so what the hell is that check that out Okay, here's our closest. Getting, we're getting close to the sun, sun again because right now we are at that. And the closest we've ever been is been to the four. Okay, so checking on that. Okay, quickly sky chart. Jupiter, yep, Jupiter.
There's the axis. It was a stunning 